Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Technically, if you want to restore from your iCloud backup, the default is to reset the entire iPhone. But do you know that it's possible to restore without resetting? In this video, I will show you the method I have personally tried and proven to do exactly that on your iPhone. Let's go. The best thing about this method is its flexibility. You can choose exactly what you want to restore rather than wiping your entire device, so you don't have to worry about losing data or having unwanted files overwrite your current setup. Note, however, that this process requires a third-party tool to be installed on your computer. I've tried this myself and confirmed that it does indeed recover certain data without a full reset. To get this software, check the link in the description below and get access to the free trial where you can check if the data is still available. After installing the software, navigate to the Recover Data from iCloud submenu. This approach is the best alternative, especially if the data you need was backed up to the cloud before it was lost or deleted. For this mode of recovery, you don't have to connect your device directly. Instead, just enter your Apple ID credentials to sign in and provide the six-digit authentication code to proceed. Once verified, check the data types you want to recover, such as iCloud Drive, Photos, Notes, and more, and click Scan to continue. Now wait while the tool scans and downloads the selected data from iCloud. This may take some time depending on the total size of the backup. After the scan is done, you can view the actual recoverable data for each data type, making it easier to determine if the data you need is still available. You can choose to recover everything or just the items you need. Then click Recover to PC to save them to your computer. Due to iOS system limitations and data management policies, only your contacts can be restored directly to your iPhone because they're integrated with native iOS applications. Meanwhile, other file types like photos, documents, audio, and more can only be stored on your computer, but transferring them back to your iPhone should be easy enough between devices. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.